Hey everyone, Shaburn 1000 here. Today we've got this Murray. It's a 2013, so it's 10 years old. Get this little Murray of Briggs and Stratton. I think I did one of these here not too long ago, but this cable for the brake for the engine brake is snapped. It was seized up and snapped. So we're gonna take this off. This is not the right cable, so I gotta fabricate it. Hence the drill bits and my handy dandy drill there. Um, <clears throat> this is the cover for this, it looks like. Yeah. I don't see a screw in it. I'll have to see if I can find a screw. I'm sure I can. Um, we're going to take this off of here. And we're going to fabricate this one to fit on it. Like I said, this is just one I have. Um, it's not the exact one, so we're going to have to drill a hole in here for this piece to go into. So, first let's get this one out of here. And... We're going to see about getting this back together so it can be used again. So we've been having a lot of rain. What a hell of a storm going on here. Lightning just struck something real close and power went out for a minute and came back on. I just cut this grass and it's really shooting up. And the last time I cut this, that mower, the mower belt on her John Deere came off again. And it's all kind of messed up. Now I put all new pulleys on that thing and I, I don't know. The first time I thought was a fluke because I thought, well, I bought a cheap belt. This time I bought an OEM part from John Deere and it did the same thing. So I'm not sure what's going on with that with new pulleys. Usually a, a rusted pulley or a bent pulley will cause that. But so I've got to hurry up and get this. Uh, hurry up and get that fixed so I can get this yard cut again. But let's let's go ahead and we're going to cut this off of here. Okay, it can stay there. <laughs> All right, now I do like these better than this style because, as you saw, it, it clips around the handle. But see, we're not going to be able to go into this one, we're going to have to come about right in here. Sorry about the lighting again, it's uh, so I'll be drilling a hole right in there. Um, so now I'm gonna have to get you on a stand so I can show you what's going on up under here. What we gotta do here is there's two tabs. There's one right here and one on the other side. You just squeeze them together with a pair, pair of pliers. Needle nose is what I use, works fine. And then you slide this out and there's a little notch right here that comes out. But since this is, I think this is, no, it might come out. Sometimes you'll have to actually pull that brake to do that if it's locked up really tight. So let me get you on a stand. Okay, so now we're gonna just get up under here on them two tabs. Might have to go in from the top. Squeeze them together. And pull it out just like that. And then this just pulls down and out. So it goes up in like this. Goes up in like this and like this. Let me show you with the new one. Well, it's not new, but monkey sneaking behind me. Always makes me nervous. I don't know what she's doing half the time. So it's going to go up in here like this and then pour it to you. Now, now we're just going to put this in there. 
push this up in there like that and that side of it's done now I'll show you what we got to do up on top here to get this to work right now normally what this would do would go into this hole but I cannot put it in that I mean it'll go but it's not it's not long enough up here at the top see so that's why I have to bring it up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in here like that give it a little bit of slack and I'm going to drill my hole right there I'm going to mark my hole right about there oops but first I'm going to hold it and see if it works and it's really hard to hold but yeah that's going to work so let me get the right size bit now I know this will fit in that hole down here at the bottom so I'm just going to go with the same size drill bit for that one but what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw draw I want to drill a smaller hole first for a pilot hole then then I'll draw out draw <laughs> I'll drill looks about like that then I'll drill the regular sized hole so let's start with just a smaller it doesn't matter what size you use so I'm gonna get you over here no wait I'm gonna have to put you over here I'm, I know I'm gonna get in your way I'm sorry about that but lighting sucks outside here in Florida so like I said, I'm going to measure that again. I'm going to mark it with one of these drill bits. And then we're going to drill drill our hole. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Hang on, let me get a center punch. And get that so it doesn't walk. I'm drilling on a round piece of stock here. Love that center punch. There's the first hole. I know one of you guys is going to notice this drill. <laughs> Man, I have used the hell out of this thing. Thank you, Dennis. Now, let's see if that'll fit. I might have to go one more size. And there it is I'll probably put a zip tie right there but let's see if this works now let me back you up let's see if it works and it does make sure we can pour yep okay so it works kind of bent there for some reason why I would say that might have been seized up a little bit down there hmm I don't like that that's really hard to pull down there I'm gonna see if down there if there's an issue it seems like it's really hard to pull right down there so maybe I'll lube it up and see what's going on all right so I adjusted that what I did was drill a, a hole a little farther up because what happened was it actually broke this piece here 
so I had to weld it back together and redrill it. So let's see if it works now. It should. There we go. All right. Now let's get it down here. Let's see if this thing runs and we'll try it out. All right, let's see if it starts. I did put a screw in that little cover on the top there. Right there. And uh, we're gonna see if it starts. I don't. I know nothing about it. I've never worked on it before. Didn't even know he had it. So let's check it out. I don't know when the last time it was it ran. I don't see a choke on it. But there's the problem. Primer bulb. Okay, let me pull the top off there. Let's see what's going on with it. Okay, so I squirted some gas down into the carburetor. Um, it was barely squirting because that primer bulb was bad. So let's see if it'll start up and run. It may run or it may just start up and then quit. Let's see. There it is. So it's going to need a little carb work. Probably just that primer ball because when they leak there, they're also sucking air. So that would be my next thing. I don't know how long it sat or anything. So I was telling him, you know, he's going to need a primer ball. And I think I can. There is some a little bit of dirt down in the bottom of that tank. So that could, you know, it could be a dirty carburetor too. So there's there's some dirt floating around down in there so well kind of like sitting on the bottom so and there's probably a little water in there all right there you go so we fixed that we put a screw in that cover and we did get it to start up and we did find out <laughs> that this primer bulb is cracked so there you guys go it's a Briggs and Stratton 300 uh, like it says 2000 April of 2013 all right guys thanks for watching Shea Bear the myth the man the legend gone for now whoo man I'm telling you what it's hot <laughs> we'll see you in the next one bye bye and take care